Laura, you've done this a couple of times. What, what Reese and Emma are going through, taking on the alma mater uh, again here. What's the key to handling those emotions? Yeah, it's never, it's never, different. I think it's different for them. There's, you know, in league. Reese played there for four years, just, you know, a few months off of it. And Emma, a few months, if that, out of working there. So I think it's a little closer and I'm sure it'll be uh, difficult in some ways, um, just emotionally and knowing all those players and, um, wearing the other Jersey and representing the other team. So it's, it's hard for, for people, I think, to do that. And Reese and Emma had great experiences there, you know, Emma's an alum as well. So they really enjoyed their time. So there are no bad feelings about things. Um, so I think they're both excited to get back, but, Boy, I don't know if they've ever been in the visiting locker room or if they know their way around the uh, the other hallway. So we'll we'll see how they do there. But um, exciting for them, and I'm sure um, emotions will be high. The first time you took on your alma mater was until you was within Thanksgiving March. here. Thanksgiving. Yeah, that fall they okay. came to us okay. um, in 2015, so it was pretty quick. Um, but we were here, yeah. so not necessarily back in the other building and. Um, yeah, it it was it was weird because you know those kids really really well and obviously the staff too. Yeah. Do you lean on on Emma and Reese for some extra insight to, to this weekend on, on taking on the Beavers or is this a team that you guys are just already just all together with? It's a little bit of both. I think it's always an asset when you have people in the locker room that have played in another program just to give you uh, a sense for you know detail style of play what they're trying to do in certain situations um obviously we know them really well too but i'm sure there will be tweaks you know things that they're doing maybe differently this year with the new staff and new players so um as we always say got to focus on ourselves that's what we're primarily doing especially at this early it's still early in the season we have a lot of things we want to continue to get better at too this impact Reese has made on, on the team come in here I feel like maybe you anticipated this a, a bit. You mentioned one of the reasons you bring in a player like this is there is no transition or adapting to the WCHA. She knows exactly what she's getting into. Yeah, I think it's a huge uh, asset to her and her ability to play in our top six, whether she's, you know, on the first line or second line. Um, she's a great player, first and foremost, brings a ton of speed, um, a ton of just she's dynamic with the puck. She can score goals. She's super creative um, and knows that it's a, a hard nosed league. So knows the value of defense and getting back hard on pucks. And um, so she's able to play our style of hockey while she's adjusting to some of our systems. How's Emma been kind of a interesting, you hire her and then Lou leaves yep. and change a little bit. What yep. she was playing to do here when you, when you brought her in. Yeah. She like embraced the, the role changes and then her job here and what impact has she made so far? Yeah, I think she was, you know, excited. Obviously, she, one of the reasons, not obvious, but you can ask her, one of the reasons she wanted to come here was to work with our coaching staff. And then, you know, one of them leaves, but it also presented new opportunities for her. So I think that's always uh, something that people want. Um, it comes with responsibility and and expectations and she's, she's up for the challenge. So she's a great fit for our staff. Um, great to our athletes knows what it takes in the WCHA you know both she and Justin had worked in our league before so that was big and important to me just understanding you know our opponents what we're up against what it's like to play the same team back to back there are just so many details about the WCHA that you know when you can find people whether it's players or staff that have that knowledge um, it's an asset. Yeah, great. Sure. Yeah. Um, MK, you talked about her Kelly the other night. We talked about these players who are stepping up into bigger roles and getting more opportunities. I thought you had a lot of them actually this weekend against Mankato that took advantage of, but MK seems to really be um, taking advantage of the extra opportunities. She is. Really she is. And, you know, second semester last year, she really started blossoming. Um, played in, you know, she was, uh, I think, on our first line, second line, third line, wherever we needed her, uh, very complimentary. But I think that the key to MK is everything that she does both on and off the ice to get herself ready. She is so prepared. Um, 
you know, physically, mentally, emotionally. Um, she's a great leader. Her voice in the locker room and on the ice is really important to us. She understands what it takes uh, to play in our program. She understands the standards. She holds those things really high. So she's a great example, I think, of working her butt off, uh, seeing it climb, right? Limited minutes when she was younger. And now she's getting tons of minutes and it is in just about every situation out on the ice for us and finding a ton of success. You, know, you mentioned the focus is on yourself this week, um, but the Mitchie's record is what it is. Where do you see maybe yourselves having a big day or maybe even the Beavers presenting a challenge? Yeah, it's so early in the season. You know, I, I their record is their record and ours is ours, but we're only what, this is our seventh game coming up. So it's really early and I would hesitate to put too much stock in what records are right now. Some teams play really easy non-conference schedules. They have not had an easy road, nor have we. So um, I think being ready for a tough road opponent is really important. That's the mentality that we want to have is, you know, you don't take anything for granted. They work their butts off. Uh, we've had plenty of close games with them over the years, maybe not last year, but not that long ago. Um, we're in really tight battles, especially on the road there. So uh, we need to play good bulldog hockey, be honest in our systems and our approach um, and go for, you know, the win on Friday. And that's our first uh, first priority right now. Yeah, it's just every time we get to put on the jersey, you know, it's getting more comfortable with each other. We want to build chemistry with our line mates, you know, um, that takes time and, and we're getting there. Want more chemistry with our lines and our D. Um, the more we can activate all five in our offense, the better off we'll be. So those are places we want to just continue to grow. Reese, okay. thoughts on going back to... Bemidji this weekend. What do you anticipate this is going to be like? Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting being on the visitor side. Um, uh, but again, it's just a hockey game. I'm just trying to think hockey. Um, not let distractions get to me. But yeah, it's going to be hard. But again, good to see some people. Um, but yeah, we'll see. This capital is also a homecoming for first homecoming for Emma as well. Your assistant coach. Yeah, kind of nice. We're in it together. Um, it happens to be alumni weekend there, so we'll see a lot of familiar faces, but it's nice that we can go in there together and experience it. You graduated from there, right? You got your bachelor's degree from there? Yeah. What was that in? Uh, business. Business? Yeah. And then what are you working on for a master's in? Um, I'm doing my master's in professional studies, so. Oh, okay. yep. Yeah. What brought you here to, to UMD? Obviously, we can skip all the climate questions and everything <laughs> like that. But this is a place obviously you were familiar with. Yes, he, he has some pretty good success here as a as a beaver as as well. Why UMD for for the fifth year? Um, I think I always admired the dogs playing against them. Uh, I knew Nina on the team at the time. She always had great things to say. Um, our coaching staff is top notch. So just getting here and being able to play for them, I think that was super interesting to me. Um, and then just yeah, the masters schooling worked out. So worked out. The impact you've been able to make. Early on here, what do you, what do you attribute that to? Obviously, I'm like maybe some other transfers or, or freshmen. You don't have to adapt to the WCHA or or anything like that. What's this transition been like? Um, it's been good. Yeah, I think the girls have made it really easy. Um, we're like a great group to come into. Expectations, I think, are high in that locker room, so that just pushes everyone to like try and exceed and be at their best. So I think just the motivation internally inside that room has helped me. Um, yeah, get to the line I'm on and play with some of the girls I've played with. You played the Buckeyes and the Mavericks before, but how different does it feel playing in down with the Bulldogs and Coach maybe the Mitchie? Yeah, it's there's some differences, but I think a lot of it's the same. Um, like I know a lot of the teams, a lot of the girls, so that doesn't change, but definitely different routine with this team. So um it hasn't been too crazy, nothing drastic, but this weekend will be different for sure. <laughs> So now you play against Bemidji State. What are the keys to success against Bemidji State this weekend? Um, I'm sure we'll watch more film this week, but I think, I mean, no team in our league is going to give us an easy game. So definitely not looking past them at all and just like coming to work, um, working on our habits, lines, ins, outs. So just focusing on that. And then I'm sure we'll watch more video on them this week.
You've been texting with any former teammates, any trash talk in those text messages? <laughs> yes, I have been texting with a few, but more just excited to see them. Um, nothing, no trash talk yet. The one place you gotta go on the menu is to get any good message. Um, probably like coffee shop, uh, wild hair, wild hair. go to, yeah. yeah.